guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is cash Ross, and i'm back again with amazing video guys you know anytime i come up here to introduce myself first before starting the video you know it's about to be an informative and educational video right right i know so if you're yet to subscribe to the channel this is the opportunity these are the times i normally tell you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're yet to subscribe to the channel please do what to hit on that big red button that says subscribe join this amazing family so you'll be seeing this pretty face every time okay join this family and please do not forget to thumbs up this video today guys i'm going to be sharing with you guys an informative loving educational content i think that is too long but anyways i'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the businesses you can start up with little or no cash in your account like little amount like 50 to 100 thousand naira, less than 100 thousand that you're going to be starting most of these businesses okay this video has been in my mind for quite some time i've been trying to like shoot this video and one thing or the other has just been taking my time from creating this video but today i told myself ah, ah i must create this video for you pool. and here i am representing <laughs> okay so guys without further ado let's head over the to this video business i'm going to be discussing with you guys is pos business yes i said it's pos business you guys don't know how much these people are cashing out with on a daily you guys don't know how much they are going on with this video has been this, for quite some time it has been in my mind i wanted to like okay there was one system i was working at dangote refinery we don't have bank around so i've been trying to like okay i'm going to open this particular store well one thing one thing i'll just tell myself uh, this place has a lot of guys around and opening this business here is going to be risky but guys to be honest with you people those people that have the courage that have the mind to open this business to open or start up pos business with little cash like just thirty thousand naira, they can start this just go to the bank and register and then get the atm mentioned and with that you can start up this business on a daily you can be going on with maybe let's say five to ten thousand naira. i know it might not be that much for you right now you watching this might think that the money is not that much but definitely when you when you calculate this thing at the end of the month you'll be making when i say cool cash you'll be making cool cash and then when you have a very nice environment guys you're going to enjoy this business the second business i'm going to be talking about is dry cleaning business a lot of you think that you must have a washing machine before you start a dry cleaning business you can go to the school if you're a student you can start off by collecting clothes from your colleagues from your classmates from people that are around you, you know there are some lazy students lazy ass students that don't want to wash they don't want to do anything they don't want to wash their clothes by themselves you can start it up you will tell them that okay i can do this for you you just pay me little amount of money just give me some tips i'm going to do it and with the more you do this particular stuff a lot of people in your environment in your school environment they are going to notice you this particular business you're starting it with nothing you know you just need maybe you just need your detergent detergent that you need might just be kind of 500 detergents let's just say sometimes it might not even be up to that amount the third business i'm going to be talking about here is drop shipping business a lot of you don't know what is drop shipping in this generation you don't know what drop shipping is drop shipping you can, can just be at the comfort of your home and do this business like you run it smoothly without without even seeing the person that you're drop shipping for when i was in china i used to do most of all these businesses like import some things down to nigeria but sometimes that i noticed that most of the stuff i want to send back might take time before it's arrived most times i just like go through someone else go through a supplier here in nigeria and then send it directly to my customer like we have my customers saying that this did not really come from china so these are the things that you might do you might be doing from the comfort of your just look for a vendor look for someone that sells that stuff that your customer is looking for advertise be a middleman between the customer and also the vendor and then you just like most of the thing maybe a customer is selling it for a particular amount let's just say the customer is selling it for four thousand five hundred you might sell yours for five thousand you might sell yours for five five just post on your status like we are in the computer age that you can just take some things and post on your social media platform if you're just on your social media platform to post your pictures alone without making money through it like what are you what are you doing what's most of this stuff on your status post it on your facebook page on your instagram page and when you get a customer when you get someone that wants to buy it you just go directly to the vendor and supply it to this person and then you make your own cool cash remember you did not invest anything to start this business the next one i'm going to be talking about is cleaning business clean 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 you know they say cleanness is next to godliness there's a people that find it difficult to create time to clean their houses you can actually be someone that does this for them you collect some 
objectives you post on your status or if you're always busy you're not always at home i can come to your house and clean your house for you and then you pay me you just put your own price tag to it and you see that there are a lot of people that actually need your services but because they are not bold enough to come up to their status and post this particular stuff so people will not see them that oh so you cannot do your cleaning by yourself but lots and thousands of people need your services without you knowing it the next one i'm going to be talking about is delivery business you don't need your bike you don't need bike before you start up your delivery business you don't need a bus before you start up your delivery business you can check around you if you're maybe staying close to a market environment and then you see that okay a particular person a particular um, vendor is always having lots and lots of customers and maybe you've created a relationship between this vendor you can actually serve as this vendor's delivery person all you just need to do go to the place pick up the goods that you're supposed to deliver and then maybe figure out the environment maybe be between your vicinity and then you just take a bus yes the best one is take a commercial bus to the location and then you save a lot of cash but let's say uh the person is supposed to pay two thousand five hundred naira for that delivery fee and you end up spending like five hundred naira to get to that place cool cash you're putting your two thousand naira inside your pocket that's a cool cash right imagine you do that to a lot of goods that you're going to be delivering for that day guess how much you're going to be making you're going to be the judge of that now the next business i'm going to be talking about is thrift business when we were growing up we had this woman that actually comes to our place with some clothes like she sent most time she sent her kids to bring some clothes and then we get to like select all these clothes we'll be selecting them that time for 200 naira 150 100 naira per top and all that but right now guys thrift business has become a business that lots of girls have actually engaged in you see some girls they'll post some outfit and they'll tell you that this outfit is five thousand naira this outfit is four five some of them will say this outfit is six thousand naira it is okrika but because they have actually changed the name to like thrift business a lot of people will feel like okay it's thrifted and they'll tell you like it's uk size and all that but you don't know how much these people are getting it most of these clothes they actually get them so cheap like when i say cheap i mean so cheap but because they are the ones that went to the market to source this clothes for you they will come up on their page and then maybe look for a nice model to help them wear this clothes look for a nice background to take this picture and they will post it and then you feel like oh this clothes is so beautiful you go ahead to buy it so you see many people are making cool cash from thrifted wears from okrika yes let me just say it as it is from okrika wears many people are making cool cash from it with just 20 or 30 thousand naira, you should be starting this business and starting it or you can just go ahead and pick some clothes from the thrifted markets there's some places that you can go to i think you know show the apapa is it a papa or where yeah in a is it a papa or you're not bad there's a place that they actually sell uh ipaja i think that place they actually sell this thrifted wear go to that place select some clothes go on your page wear this clothes if you cannot wear it wear it give to someone else to help you to model it and then you make your cool cash by selling that the next business i'm going to be talking about is online teaching yes you can speak yoruba you can speak Igbo, you can speak english pidgin english there are lots and lots of people that actually pay to learn pidgin english yes you don't know you guys will be seeing pidgin english you feel like oh this english is not english it's not part of it there are lots of white people that are there looking for someone to teach them how to speak pidgin english without you knowing you can actually be a tutor online there are some pages there are a lot of pages i'm going to be putting some of the pages here for you like the links or websites that you can go and register and then you can apply to be a yoruba teacher if you're if your yoruba is very very good you can apply to be a yoruba teacher if your english or your Igbo is very very nice you can apply to be an Igbo teacher or i don't know if they accept other language but i'm telling you i will say yoruba Igbo, and also pidgin are most of this language that white people or people from abroad want to learn from nigeria when you say you want to teach normal english now most of them want to go to someone that is from america or is from uk or those english speaking country nigeria is actually part of it but most times they don't recognize us as people that speak english okay so most of all these local languages can be taught online you just be at home what you just need all you just need is your laptop and then you're good to go remember you did not start this business with anything now the next one i'm going to be talking about is hair wigging yes all you just need to do on this hair wigging 
stuff is for you to go learn it if you don't have the knowledge you just go and learn it you pay like up to like 30 to 40 thousand naira, depending on the environment you have to learn how to make wig and when you become a professional you can just be at the comfort of your home to start doing it the things you need to invest in is just your needles hair cap and uh, some hair materials wool that you're going to use to sew this stuff you just be at the comfort of your home and make this hair wigs for people there are lots of people that need wiggers they have wigs some of some of all these classic girls that love putting on wigs they have they need someone to actually make it for them just be at your home without renting a shop to make this for them next business i'm going to talking about is guillotine guillotine yes yes guillotine can just take you like one month to be a professional just pay like 15 20 000 to learn it i'll be at home to like you post on your page you start maybe looking for your mom sis rapper your mom sis and gele and you start tying it on her or tying it on some other people snap it or post online lots of people are going to realize that okay there's someone like this that actually make gele and then on saturdays a lot of people are going to be booking you to come and tie their gele for them so this is actually a cool business that you can start up without you having a shop yes you don't even need a shop to start up this business the next one i'm going to be talking about is personal shopping online drop shipping that you just be at home and then you just connect your connect your vendor and the customer personal shopping you can just go to the market maybe there are some people that want to buy some things but because there are no chance they are busy maybe they close very late at work you just like ask them oh what do you want to buy give me some money i'm going i'm going to go buy for you remember all you just need is trust you don't need to invest in it they'll give you cash they'll give you uh the money that uh, you need to buy some things for them and then you go to the place buy the stuff for them when you come back they are going to give you your own tips depending on the amount you're charging for shopping for them so you go to the market and do what they're supposed to do for them also you're not investing any amount of money on this particular business this business i'm going to be telling you about is recycling business recycling yes you will feel like it's only malams all those aboki that does this recycling business but it brings lots of cool cash lots of people feel like okay it's a dirty business they don't want to, they don't want to engage in it but guys when you cool down and look for this particular stuff for people that actually need it you're going to make cool cash from it you don't need any amount of money to you to start up this particular stuff just look for all those things plastics that people are throwing away you can start from your compound maybe you buy a big bag or a big bowl and then you keep it somewhere in your compound then you tell you can start from your compound you tell your compound people your neighbors that okay if you have any plastic that you want to throw away please help me to throw it into this bag guys business have started though please help me to throw it into this bag and then when once it's filled up you go over to all these people that are reusing plastic to create some other things you sell it to them and put the money into your pocket yes just like that you need two to three bags put in your compound and ask your neighbor talk to your neighbors about it if you know is remember a closed mouth is a closed destiny just tell them about it that you need this particular stuff and they are going to like work with you this business i'm going to be telling people about is freelancer when i was in china there's this particular stuff that my roommate was doing guys my roommate is not a slim person she's not slim like she she's not slim i can't, I can't if she's going to be watching this she's going to know i'm talking about her she's not slim she's very fat but she was doing this kind of freelancer stuff that she's online and then she will be telling people what you can do to lose weight you guys see the irony of this stuff i don't know why i'm laughing so hard but yeah that's the irony a lot of people don't know how you look a lot of people don't know how your stature is but since they want to like learn something there are a lot of people that are desperate to learn some things online and then they don't care about who is the leader most people actually do care but some people they will just like come up come up to deceive you they will show you some pictures and tell you this this is how they look but actually that's a lie they don't look that way they look opposite of what they are showing you but because we want to learn from what you're teaching they're just going to buy whatever you're telling them so you can do you can become a freelancer sell some things online sell some pictures nft i think nft yeah some people are some people are actually doing that some people are youtube youtube coach coaching about how you can grow on your social media platform people are there teaching you and helping you on how to get some things online so yeah you can just browse about freelancer go online register for it if there are any knowledge you have maybe you want to be doing some things on online or teaching some people some things you can go ahead and register for a freelancer's job now a bonus a bonus tip that i'm going to be telling people about is fresh juice yes you can be a fresh juice vendor get some of all these fruits juice it and put it in a nice plastic put it in a nice container and you can sell it all you just need to do is get clean water be in a clean environment because you know it's going into someone's system
system yes it's going into people's system so you cannot feed them dirty stuff you cannot come up here and feed them things that is going that are going to purge them they're not going to patronize you next time so you have to be neat extremely neat you have to be someone that's actually trustworthy like you have to be someone that when someone look at you they can actually trust that you did not put anything inside their juice for them so this particular stuff can actually cost you like twenty thousand naira to start it up this business fresh juice business can be you can just buy a juicer and start this business for them this is where i'm going to be ending this video if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and stay tuned for more valuable content coming your way soon thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel until next time see you bye Mwah.